Hello folks and welcome to your Wednesday afternoon Why Not Weather Briefing. I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Mark Hewer. Mostly dry for tonight across the Cowboy State. Do have a few areas of some strong winds to talk about. A pocket of strong winds Thursday. A little light snow mainly out in the west. Chilly on Friday with some areas of light to possibly a little bit of some moderate snow. Let's start with tonight. Non-shaded areas across the state, dry and breezy through the overnight hours. Yellow shaded area is where we're going to be looking at some strong southwest winds. No extreme blowover risks and no light high profile concerns, but we will be looking at some nuisance winds of 35 to 45 miles per hour in the wind prone areas. And this pink shaded area will be under the gun for potentially a little bit of blowing snow into and through tonight, especially on South Pass. But locations through this pink shaded area could see some areas of blowing snow, potentially some black ice, and also reduce visibility out in the west and northwest. A little bit of some light snow and snow shower activity, mainly after midnight. Just a trace to an inch in our valleys. Teton Pass and then also Togedy Pass might pick up one to two inches from the light snow and snow shower activity, some slick roads across our western valleys and especially western mountains after midnight. For Thursday, a little more going on, but nothing significant. Non-shaded areas across central and northeastern Wyoming, dry, breezy, and cool. Across the Wind River Basin and then the Bighorn Basin, a little spotty PM or overnight snow shower activity, but not much to mention and it'll be dry through the day. Yellow shaded area is our pocket of some stronger nuisance winds again for your Thursday. Wind prone area has seen some gusts of 35 to 45, so no extreme blowover risk or light high profile vehicle concerns. Very limited areas of blowing snow possibly as well on Thursday. And these will mainly be morning winds with light to breezy winds in nearly statewide through the afternoon and overnight hours. The blue shaded areas here across West Central and Southeastern Wyoming. Gonna be dry during the day outside of a few mountain snow showers. But then as we get into the evening and overnight hours, a little bit of some light snow and snow shower activity starts to expand across the I-80 corridor and also Southern I-25 could pick up a trace to one inch. So some slick spots and icy areas a possibility. From this red hash line on westward, a little bit of some light snow and snow shower activity during the daytime hours. Again, it'll be very light and with this time of the year and some light snow and snow shower activity, no road concerns, lower elevations during the day. Teton Pass and Togedy Pass though, will continue to see some slick conditions with maybe one to three inches of new snow across mountain passes and higher elevation roads, potentially around the Three Sisters as well between Green River and Evanston. Otherwise, just a trace to one inch across lower elevations through the day and overnight hours. And the Bighorns, US 14, then Powder River Pass and also sections of I-90. We'll be looking at some light snow as well and potential slick and icy conditions, especially Thursday evening and night. So what about Friday? Well, here we have a mid-level model graphic showing energy and winds, about 10,000 feet. This is Wyoming right here. We got a high pressure out in the Pacific, nice ridge within this messy trough here across the Great Basin and Rockies. What this will allow is a little bit of Pacific moisture and energy to stream in from the Northwest on Friday, as well as a chilly Canadian cold front. Temperatures a little below average Friday, generally 30s, with some areas of light snow and snow shower activity. Nothing heavy, but we will see areas of light snow across much of the state, and we potentially might see a pocket or two of some moderate snow and slightly better accumulations. So what are we looking at for potential accumulations of snow on Friday? Here's the general I-80 corridor across southern Wyoming. We've got I-25 right here going on north and meeting up with I-90, and it will be southeastern Wyoming from about Cheyenne up towards Wheatland and from just west of Cheyenne out towards Nebraska. That could be looking at a little bit of some light to moderate snow Friday afternoon and evening, one to three to maybe possibly four inches in a few areas, but this snowfall a little uncertain 
Elsewhere across the state, some small accumulations, higher elevations on I-80. Also, likewise, between Rock Springs and Evanston. Otherwise, a spattering of light snow and snow showers Friday. Maybe some slick and icy spots, especially early and late in the day. Otherwise, chilly spring weather conditions here in Wyoming. Trending warmer and dry than statewide for this upcoming weekend. Thanks for watching today. We'll talk to you tomorrow.